I'm hoping that I'm like close enough to the camera. It's been quite awkward set up. I've got it on like an awkward angle. Don't know what's going off in the background. Um, anyway, hello and welcome back to the channel. Sorry, decided just not to greet you all then apparently. Um, sorry, the dogs are hanging around. There, there is one. Don't know where, naughty dog number two. Oh, here he comes. And I have a feeling that you're gonna be very annoying. Um, so sorry if you hear that banging. I'm like sat in front of a radiator. So he keeps wagging his tail on the radiator, um, which is quite annoying. Go on out, out, out. Why are you dead? This isn't gonna go very well, is it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm at home because, as you know, if you live in England, the weather has turned and it is now wet and, well, I say cold, it's not that cold yet. Um, but anyway, not filming outside weather anyway. So today I have got a tackle, which is one of my favorite videos to film. Um, I've got, absolutely loads of rugs <laughs> which are here i have got some other stuff don't worry it's not all going to be rugs because that would be quite boring um but yeah as you can probably see oh no i think it's that one you can see there are loads of rugs here um obviously with it coming into winter it was rug time but anyway let's get on with this otherwise i'm going to be here all day um i don't even know where to start to be honest so let's start with do, do, do. i'm gonna start with these that, are, that you can't actually see so i actually had a look on ebay for some rugs because obviously when i've got how many have i got now i think i've got six that are size six foot three so it cost me a fortune to kit them all out with all the rugs um so i did have a quick look on ebay and managed to pick this up i probably don't really need this yet unless i start layering them um but this anyway is a six foot three lightweight stable rug um or should i put up this on to be fair it is just like the blue and white check oh it's been washed it smells nice um but yeah it's second hand it was literally like i think this was literally a fiver you are really annoying <laughs> I don't think you can quite see him, but he's here, trying to get in the way. Um, but yeah, it's just a Shire's Wessex one, I believe it did say on it somewhere. Can you start wagging your tail on the radiator? Yeah, Shire's Wessex. And as you can see, it's had some repairs, um, but it's literally going to be used as like an under rug. Um, so yeah, that one is that. Six foot three, as I said, for a so you can go out. Out. Go on, out, out, out. Um, but yeah, that is that one. And then, next up, I haven't actually unpackaged what of this one. It's not got my dress on it, so this one, um, as you can see, the dog did have a little go. On the corners, oh, you've successfully got through this corner. This one might not be as clean. No, it isn't, so I'm probably not gonna get this one out of the bag. Yeah, it smells. Um, but this is literally, the same rug in the same design it was from a different seller hence it's not as clean and nice probably gonna have to stick this one in the rug myself um again this was like a fiver in the rug myself in the wash myself um but yeah that was like a fiver and that is six foot six so that will fit bond although i did buy him a new lightweight stable rug literally a couple of days after that because i forgot i'd won it that rug really smells i don't know why that is going away from me we seem to have set up behind me now um so yeah that was that and then i'll show you a couple of different bits so um actually i'll do that one in a minute so yesterday i nipped to r and r which if you don't know is my local tax shop because bond the other day, if you follow my Instagram, you will have seen it's Tara Brown Eventing, the same as my YouTube. If you want to go and follow it, that is where like the more daily updates will be. Um, but yeah, so Bond basically on Sunday morning, I think we went out to him and he had a fat, swollen leg. It was really hot and it was like pussing out the top of it. Um, so I got the vet out Monday morning um i cold hosed it and gave him some butte and left him till monday morning because he wasn't in major pain or lame or anything and we didn't want to pay the 
extortionate fees. Um, so yeah, left it till the Monday morning. The vet came out, basically said that he just needs some antibiotics and some butte and washing with some hairy scrub, which I did have loads of, has vanished. I think, Rusty, can you go away? Out. I just don't want you to hear him wagging his tail on the radiator. Sit down, stay there. Boy. Um, but yeah, so I went to R&R, &R. they didn't have any hippie scrub, but they had this, which is like an off-brand of hippie scrub. It's by Gold Label, it's called Tri Scrub, and it's literally like the same thing. Um, so I need to use that on him tonight, and that was £6. A lot cheaper than hippie scrub, to be fair, and pretty much has the same effect. So yes, taking that tonight. I also bought some hay nets, but I've had to use them, because um, I literally needed them that night. So hurting my legs sitting cross-legged um yeah so I haven't got them to show you I'm afraid if I move back am I too small I think I'm all right and then I can actually tell you this because you'll know by the time I am uploading this video I have got a little tiny it's so tiny I could probably lead you off this I don't think you can quite see it but he's sat like right here sit down sit down yeah, stop harassing me um it's a fall hair colour. This is probably, I bought this ages ago when I first found out, obviously getting quite excited. Can you sit down? Sit down over there, please. Stay there. Um, this was £12.75 and it is so tiny. But yeah, I bought this ages ago when we first found out and I think this will probably be too small for them now. But if you don't know, we've hopefully got two broomers in fall for next year. So I can save that for next year, but yeah so cute and tiny and then obviously because i thought that that one was going to be too small now and we're picking one up this weekend when i'm filming this um i think you will have met her now I'm picking up her name's abby i'm not sure if i'll change it i don't know um i picked up another one although i thought this was a lot bigger than this one but i mean it is a bit but i still don't know if it's gonna fit um but yeah i picked another one up just in case and this one is a Shire's one it is in the color topaz and it is extra extra small i know it's not it's in the color red <laughs> which you can probably tell extra extra small and it was 14 pounds 50 um but yeah that is that one and that is super exciting the filming up of it um but yeah so that was that and then let's go back to some rugs because i have got loads of them so i'll get these two because they are the same so these i picked up in a sale these are under rugs go on out the way you're so annoying sit down sit down stay there oh stay there sit down ah i should have shut them out really to film this but oh well um but yeah these are under rugs so this is what they look like they are the weather beater ones is there a picture yes there is but it's covered by the label that you can just about see um so yeah these are weather beater under rugs obviously stable and they are navy oi can we not start on your bed don't start um and these are both in six foot three so these obviously i won't be needing it yet these are for Sorry, I keep hiccuping. Further into winter, um, when they need under rugs on, which is definitely not yet. So, yeah, that is them. They are 200 grams, and yeah, that'll be when they're fully clipped out, and it is freezing cold, which is obviously not yet. And then, oh, I'll show you one of these rugs, and I'll save the other two to the end. So, this is... So, I haven't... I don't know if I... I don't think I could. all my flower rugs are Premier Equine, um, but obviously their rugs are known for being like the best quality. They're just really expensive, um, so I want to gradually move all them onto Premier Equine rugs. But obviously, with them being quite expensive, I cannot do it all at once. So I've picked up a few. So this one is for Bond. This is a stable rug because he is currently living in especially with his leg he can't get it dirty or anything you're gonna sit there quietly um so this one is let me show you the combo stable 200 gram rug i got it in 
navy, I believe. Although it looks quite black on the picture. I'm not sure. Colours black, navy. I don't know what colour this one is. Navy. I did get it in navy. Um, so that is what it looks like. And that is probably for him now. He can just go in a 200 gram by itself. And this one isn't an underrug. So he can just have that on. Um, but yeah, so that one is for Bond because it's six for six. And can I remember how much this is? was probably not i think let me get my phone out i literally just had my phone where has it gone out here one second how much that one was it was 136 pounds but i got it for 122 pounds 40 because i've got like the um premier equine club thing so i got 10 percent off um but yeah so 120 pounds which isn't too bad is it really um but yeah that was that one and then I've got a parcel, let me just, I don't know if I'll be able to lift this up because it is quite heavy. From Red Post Equestrian, as you know, I usually order from these guys. Have I got anything to open? The box is now opened. Um, so yeah, I needed a few bits a couple of weeks ago. I have saved this to open it for this video. Um, but yeah, got all the prices here. So yeah, um, I, what was I saying? I always order off red post equestrian. Um, so, yes, let's show you what I got in. Oh my gosh, I didn't realise I ordered a lick of that size. Always get the um, naked wines voucher off that. You can probably see the codes on that, but use it if you want because I won't. Um, this is why the box is so heavy. We were wondering why it was so heavy. Um, so, first thing I picked up. I thought I'd got the mini one of this, but apparently not. Is a horse licks thing. Um, I would always remember we took Woo for a scan and they were... Can you leave that alone, please? I don't need you crinkling in the background. Um, yeah, we took Woo for a scan and it, she was in a different... What do you call it? In a different stock. And the ceiling was a bit lower and she was like really funny about going in. And they literally got out one of these licks and she walked straight in. Um, so I thought I'd pick one up for like clipping the babies when the farrier comes, like just to keep them quiet a bit. I did want to pick up the small one so I could literally stand and hold it because I would not be standing and holding this one for them. Um, but this is just the original horse licks, original balancer it's called. Um, and yeah, I really thought I'd gone for the size down, but apparently not. But I'm sure the horses all love that. And that was... How sticky can you go away? Out. I cannot find it. Oh, I can. £23.95. Rusty out. Um, and then... Clearly didn't realise I was picking up a hay net this small. Um, <laughs> picked up two hay nets. This one is for the lorry. But it is so tiny. It's like the size of my face rolled up. Let's open this and see how big it really is. Um, it's called the Slow Flow Hay Net Mini by H by Equestrian. I did want a mini hay net because it's for the lorry and I don't take the huge hay nets on the lorry, but this, this seems really mini. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not too bad. It's probably about right to be fair. Wow. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> that is tiny, isn't it? Uh, Oh well, it'll be fine. It could be for short trips out, I suppose. Um, I'm, I'm not going to send it back because I don't really send anything back. But yeah, it'll be fine. Um, that was, if I can find it, £4.95. That's probably why it was so cheap. <laughs> Didn't click in my mind though, did it? Clearly not. Out, go away. <coughs> and then next up, Bit of a contrast this is the other hay net i bought this one is actually for phoenix because bond has one of these massive hay nets and phoenix could do with one as well because she stands in a lot with bond so this is just like the biggest hay net shires do it is a haylage net so the holes are relatively small um it has got a 9.5 kg capacity and is just called the shires deluxe haylage net i believe um, but yeah, this is like for Bond and Phoenix's overnight net. Bond has got this exact net in black and blue and then this is Phoenix's in the red and black. So yeah, that is for them. 
and that one was £12.59. These are really random prices. I don't know if this is without the tax on or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's without tax. Rusty, get down. He's now on the back of the sofa. Anyway, um, next up, a bit boring, but I just needed another hoof oil brush. Um, so this is literally like the simplest hoof oil brush I could find because mine have all gone like crusty and old. Sorry, you just see the dog jumping around in the background. Um, I also feel like I've gone really far away. <laughs> Come a bit closer. So this is literally just like a simple hoof oil brush I could find. It was literally like one pound, one pound fifty, I believe, one pound twenty-five. Um, and yeah, it's just a hoof oil brush. <laughs> And then next up, I picked up some treats because apparently I can't do a haul without a treat bag of treats. If you haven't watched all my hauls, these are the treats I always buy. They are spearmint spillers ones. Yeah, I always get these ones because I know they all like them. And they're like a fiver for a bag. Less than that. It says they were three seventy-five. Um so yeah, they're just the ones I always buy. They are always in my hauls if you watch them. And then something I actually bought for myself because I obviously coming into winter or are we in winter officially yet? I don't think we are. I think it's really awesome. Stop talking while I'm rustling this bag. Anyway, um obviously coming into winter slash autumn, whatever in, I'm not sure. Um, I've realised that I don't have many jumpers or like jackets anymore. Don't know where they've gone, probably all scattered across tack rooms, various yards and cars, <laughs> knowing me. Um, but anyway, this one was in the sale. It is a hoodie because I wanted some more hoodies to like wear when it's raining a bit. Um, obviously when it's chucking down I put a coat on but you know when it's like drizzling i just wanted another hoodie so i got this one it is a shockamole one it just says sports on the front and it's i really liked how it's got a zip hoodie on the front um so you can pop stuff in there it's in this lilac color and what size did i get you in size small and i had something else to say i don't know if i'm keen on these like ribbon things instead of hoodie strings but we'll roll with it oh and it also um has a little popper here to put the hood down which i thought was a quite cool little feature for like if you've got coats on underneath or something do you know when your hood's always like bunch up on the back of your neck um maybe that might help with that i'm not sure but yeah that is just that it was just something in the sale so i picked it up and that was says it was £60. I don't... Oh, I saved... It says I saved £20 on it. So maybe it was £40. I don't know. That, that receipt isn't making a whole lot of sense to me. But, you know. And then, this is for Bond again. So these are quite exciting. So, I imagine they will have been in the hall, but I can't, couldn't tell you when. Um, but I bought some of the, like, nice equilibrium products behind magnetic boots when they're standing in because Phoenix and Bond especially seem to their bad legs seem to feel a bit when they're in. Um but I cannot for the life of me find them. I've looked everywhere and yeah can't find them. So I picked up some new ones. I think these are fairly new out because I've not seen them before. Um and they're really lightweight like it doesn't feel like they've got magnets in them or whatever oh they have they're all at the back now you can see them the little like circular bits are magnets it's quite cool actually um but yeah these are mainly for bond when he's standing in um because he'll stand in a bit more over winter unfortunately because he is so naughty in the field and there is another reason i can't remember what the other reason was um, he's quite happy stood in as well. I can't remember, I had another reason and I can't remember. Anyway, these are these, got them in size large. They can be used on the front or the back and yeah, 
they were £100, I believe. Bang on. No, it says, no, they were £80. £81 to be exact. Yeah, that, that sounds a bit more like it. This couple of things is just a few more rugs. So that is the one I've shown you. And then, carrying on with the Premier Equine, I picked up, so this one is for Kira. This is a turnout rug, as you can see. It is navy with like red piping. Um, this is the Buster Storm 200 gram combo turnout rug with a snug fit neck. Um, I really like the necks on these. I'll try and show you. They like scrunch up so they don't, I don't know, they look really cosy. Um, but yeah, this is a turnout rug. Again, it's 200 grams. She can probably have this on now because they live in turnout rugs because they go out pretty much every day. Um, sometimes they live out, it changes, but if not, they're in the barn. So it's not like being in a stable really. Um, but yeah, these are just really qu good quality rugs and wanted to get some for get one for Kira because obviously Kira is never going anywhere so she can have the nice fancy rugs um I've got the prices on my phone haven't I I literally did say that a minute ago and that one was a hundred so it was 183 pounds originally and it was down to 164 pounds 70 with the Premier Equine Club Thing. And then, last of all, this one is for Pixie. Oh, this one's heavier. Oh, it is actually heavier. As in, it's 220 gram instead of 200. Did not know that when I ordered them. Um, that's probably why it was ever so slightly more expensive. Oh, this one hasn't got the snowy neck either. Classic neck. Oh, that's boring. Anyway, <laughs> this one is Pixie's. Oh, got Pixie this one in like a dark green, so it's slightly different to Kira's because they're the same size in rug. They're both six foot three. Um, so I want to be able to tell the difference, which I'm sure I would anyway. But you know, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this one's apparently two hundred and twenty grams, and this one was slightly more expensive have a look i didn't know why i didn't just get it up while i was on there um so this one was 185 originally literally two pound more and then i got it for 166 pound 50 which isn't actually too bad i've always said they're really expensive but generally rugs are unless you're buying like second hand or in sales um and i just find that the cheap rugs don't last me at all um kira's literally had a 200 gram on for a week and she's ripped all the back of it because she's been clipped um so yeah it's just a nightmare so i'm hoping i've gone for more expensive rugs and i'm hoping they're gonna last and then if i am finding that they're working i will invest in some more premier Climb rugs um but yeah that brings me to the end of this haul anyway i'm super excited to pick up the folds but you will have seen that by now otherwise i won't have uploaded this video um but anyway i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching if you have any video suggestions or anything else like that please do let me know um please like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye